brown guy with tattoos. I think I'm covered. We're looking, we're looking for a brown guy with tattoos. Perfect. Is that the AK day? That was the AK day. So, so chest blasted. Chest. He just won. How about this? We'll give something for the listeners. Alright. Okay, dude, if people understood that they can get slapped at any fucking point in time, they would legitimately shut the fuck up. Fucking take the labels off of this shit. They want to drink the bleach, drink the bleach. So day, day drinking, and then and I was like, motherfucker, it's eleven. It's eleven. It's eleven o'clock in the morning. At work at least. It's eleven o'clock in the morning. I was like, yes. Now it's time for you to talk about blood day. Why the fuck were you guys talking about that before the fucking episode? Hashtag blood day. So awesome. Welcome to the COVID. Standard. Terrible if there's another op- a fucking update. <laughs> if it fucking erased everything yeah, all uh, over I again. Super, like, hey, dude, right, people. We're, we're What's done. going on? What's up? What's up? What it do? What the business? We just started high energy. <laughs> <What's up>? uh, <laughs> hi. Welcome hey, to guys. Covert Standard, guys. Thanks for listening for another episode of Covert Standard. He's still tired. I, do, I'm fucking do, worn out. Do right? people do cocaine before they do podcasting? I think that's like what some it of is. the ones that I've heard are very hyper and very like. Hey guys, mainly this is their only Dylan. job, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, what was the video? What go, did he do? Go get him, Dylan. Or... Yeah, go get him, Dylan. <laughs> no, no. What was the video <laughs> you just showed us for mm. your shooting stuff? His shooting. Yeah. Uh, and, it's him and... doing a competitive match. And no, the... I know that. But who? What was he saying to, towards Dylan when he was knocking down the barrels? Uh, Good job, Dylan. Good job, Dylan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he really was like legit, like rooting you on like that. It was awesome. He's uh he's generally a pretty ridiculous character. <laughs> uh sponsor. <laughs> we still have one. Stop. Somehow. Somehow. This show hasn't been canceled yet. It yeah. might be soon, but stonecoldworks.com. Our buddy Stone over there seracoding all types of things. Uh if you don't know what seracoding is, look it up. Uh basically it is a oven dried paint job. <laughs> sure. On your firearm. Heat activated ceramic coating. Whatever the fuck he said. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. You you do, nerd. No, I don't you know do what that know, means. Nerd. Magic the Gallery. <laughs> <laughs> that was a card Anyway, uh, if you have a uh, boring um, black firearm at the house that has not been painted at all, and you want to um, magic, spice it up, magic. you want to magic coloring? it up. Magic the Gallery. You want to magic it up. He can put all types of designs on your gun. I wonder if Stone could do that, actually. So, hit him up, and uh, let him know that Covert Standard, st- st- standard, standard. Covert standard sent you Bernie over there. Sanders sent you. <laughs> Probably a lot of purple. Holy shit. There Red. is a lot of things. A lot of purple, yes. There's a lot of things going on. Like I, I, it, like talking about it. I'm afraid to be optimistic anymore because like <laughs> Thank you. Now you know every how I feel. time I you weren't here for this. It'll and, get better. And you don't listen to the show, so you probably haven't heard. You're it. absolutely right. But when it <laughs> was get better. when it was Fred and I, it was the week after everything went down. And we recorded the night that all this stuff was breaking about Floyd and they were having the first protests and you're like, they're, they're going to burn everything down. And I was like, well, you don't know that. I mean, they, they have, it hasn't turned who to said that. I did. Ha- yeah. No, no, it was chase. Yeah. Chase was right. I did. I said it. They're going to burn. They're going to burn down. everything down. Weird. Okay. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I just wanted to know I, that I was right. I'm like, well, you don't, you don't know that it, things could go, you know, they could go good. I knew you know, that because of magic. It could just be a peaceful protest. And then by the time we're driving home, like shit's already shit on fire. hit the fan, and so we had to release that episode a and week like, after chaos. <laughs> and just the whole, it just spread like wildfire from city to city. Everybody's burning shit down for no fucking reason. Yeah, well, they had a reason. So it's not a valid reason yeah. to burn shit down. It doesn't solve any fucking thing. No, I, yeah, we haven't done anything good. Yeah, nothing good for the community. So since then, we would thought that things would start patching up and everything, but people no. are getting worse. Weird. We have so COVID was cured, <clears throat> and now it's, it's not cured again. It's taking a rise. As soon but... as the fires went away, COVID came back. Yes. That's what was deterring the fires, or it was was deterring the COVID. Yes. So as people want to burn shit down and loot, COVID's gone and everything's fine. And as long as you're protesting, yeah. COVID does not pertain to you. Well, you're outside and you have masks on and. Fire it doesn't keeps pertain it to away you. Doesn't pertain to you. Or something. It doesn't pertain to you. You can protest by the hundreds. It doesn't pertain to you. And that should start my first thing that I want to bring up is the whole Trump rally thing. Right? The truth behind it. Are you talking about the Tulsa? Yeah. So he had uh he had the rally in Tulsa and everybody kept like hating on him, like, uh oh, nobody showed up, da 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 da. 
And then I found out that the real reason why nobody showed up or at least wasn't in there for the, I mean, there was a lot of people there, but the reason why nobody was inside of the building at the time was because they were protesting outside of the building yeah. and it was getting violent. And so the police was trying to uh, shut it down and kind of help like escort people. And they were only letting people in about five at a time. So that a violent. lot of people were leaving and shit like that. And that's the reason why the numbers weren't up. So it's just funny how they, that it, it really does start. It's starting to, it's starting to seem more and more and more and more. That that's that it just seems like everybody's just trying to go against them. Like everything is. I know I don't want to be the conspiracy theorist here, but like it just yeah, it sounds it's like not the, conspiracy. It's it's very very obvious to me. Yeah, like, I have a bunch of what we very liberal them. friends, and like it's literally every single little thing they can do. The like him walking down the stairs thing with his tie. Oh, he's totally he's totally has dementia. He totally has dementia. Yeah, like, dude. The thing about Joe Biden having dementia. Oh, yeah. It's actually pretty fucking founded. Like it's pretty solid. Yes, it's also you, pretty you don't, sad. You too. don't oh, absolutely yeah. it, like it's it's not like a oh he's a political adversary of mine and so I want him to have to no it, it's really seems like he's getting dementia like he's been getting worse for a while. Hmm? You don't just get worse at speaking like you don't all of a sudden get nervous by talking to the public. He's been doing it for decades. Mm-hmm. And so the counter to that is to find like one clip and be like, see, he, he has dementia too. And that's how they were spinning it in their own heads at this group chat that I was in of like, yep, the, the, both these guys just have dementia and we, that's our only options. Yeah. It's, it just seems like everything is just going against them. And it it's, literally it's so anything, sad. anything, it will be interpreted in the, the worst way possible, which is like, Two times. I, you don't have to like Trump. Like, can we just be reasonable? But no, it's okay. Like it, there's there's a massive portion of the society that they don't want to be reasonable. It is okay to not like. It's okay. I think that's what a lot of people forget is that is that they don't think that it's okay. They think that it's it's a huge problem. No, get off your phone, right? Stop get do, off your phone. Stop doing it to me. Somebody did a everyone's alive text. I just want to. I'm alive. Is that what ah, that hurt over there. Okay, so. It was the one of our fucking thousands of group texts. What I what I took away ours? from that whole thing. No, it was uh, my, with with Stoner and all them in it. Was not. Oh, um, I don't have that. I'm not on that anymore. <laughs> oh, you blocked it. New number. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, so I didn't take away the whole like oh people aren't showing up. I, I kind of heard something about that and just ignored it. But mm. the protests that were going on in that state were totally fine. And then. He was going to have a rally, and the governor was attempting to call call a state of emergency to stop it. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, and the same thing is happening in California or New York, to where it's like a very obvious. These are political movements. Like yeah, Black Lives Matter so. is a political movement. It is a political movement. And yes. so now you are endorsing certain political protests, but then using COVID restrictions to 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 stop other political protests that you don't like, which is what I was kind of what I was, was basing off of that. I mean, this is a giant failure of our judicial 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 system to their whole job has been to keep these people in check. And they are clearly not doing that. These governors are far exceeding their legal ability. And I'm good. Judges aren't doing anything. Weird. So it's really saying, fucking. It's, it's really frustrating. Weird. So people suck. No, it's just because judges are politicians too. No, like everything's people, political. People suck. It took me until later in life to really realize that. People suck. When I was younger, I really believed like in in justice and like no, you know, people maybe have their political biases, you but they were know. Super cute. If you know, know judges, you can get away with a lot. It's it. Oh. That's yes. what the problem is. I mean, there's a class system, and, oh, yeah. and they're totally. politicians, and yep. they do political things for Absolutely. political favors. Yep. Yeah, I know. It sucks. You were super cute when you were younger. Like how? So were you like four? playing fucking magic, you nerd? Yeah, magic nerd. gathering. <laughs> the truth is out. Jesus. We know people. <laughs> was it like Yu Gi Oh? And you threw a card down? Like ah! it? I don't. Did you have a move? What was your I move? I don't think it was, but like I, I, I apparently had to play like that because that's how you play to be an asshole and it's one of those like yeah, i assume i would need a card I, you'd have to like s- 
spin it and it would come back like right on top of it, and it would just like land and like that angle where it's like yeah, it just trumped your shit. Bitch. Like you'd get like a you'd get a solid like. Yes, you'd have to hear oh, the actual don't... card fucking just. Yeah, <laughs> it hit, and that's what you would get. Good call. Didn't think of that. I use my wizard to cast a spell on your dragon. Did you like dragons, or were you into wizards? No dragons. It was all dragons. Yeah, yeah. I figured. Who is in the female elves? Who would female? Like? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. That's more. That's more like it. Fair enough. I just that appreciate the I artwork. Go away, mom. <laughs> mom, uh, what are you doing? So, the numbers have been ramping up everywhere on the whole COVID thing. Weird, is right? That, is that a real thing? Or uh, that... Yeah, numbers have been uh, doubling, uh, yeah, especially but... like Florida, for instance. But then sure. again, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of variables to that. Like, one, more people are getting tested, so therefore okay. more numbers will pop up, yeah. right? So, like, they don't think about that. They're they're thinking... And Dylan they make doesn't it approve like, of this. No, already. I know. But no, like, I have he, a whole thing, but I'm going to let you say your piece. Basically, basically like, people... The, oh, my God, there's more people. There. It's spreading. I, I don't think it has anything to do with that it's spreading and it's it's more abundant. I think it has everything to do with uh, that uh, more people are testing, so therefore we're finding more positive cases we're going beforehand. Out, we're going out to say how terrible the police are, and by the way, we're not doing our six foot or we're touching each other, and there's so that's much. how we spread things. There's so much. So, I was making these comments at work. I've talked about it before. I have a coworker that's very scared of all of this. He's a total coward. Um, and Jesus. He, yes. Uh, <laughs> and so, I was talking about this, about how COVID's gone. Protests are happening, and COVID's gone. It's totally fine. And he was like, well, cases are going to, we're already spiking. I'm like, okay, what are the, what are the deaths like? Are the deaths spiking? No. Oh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Not at all. The whole bunch of people got the flu from these protests. We better freak out. Sweet blood. I mean, that's essentially what it is. We all know that now. Like, we didn't know that for sure. You could have been scared before. Now we know it. So how the fuck are you going to care that a bunch of people got the flu? So what you're telling me is doctors have a job. And they've had a job since we can remember in our history because people got sick. No. So I have this crazy idea, this Uh-oh. crazy belief um, that is it the that, po- is it pastafarianism? Community what does that even mon- mean? spaghetti monster community matters. Um, that that shaking hands with people, looking them in the eyes, seeing their facial expressions, that matters. Um, eating together is important. Uh, in a in a room together, sharing food. All right. Um, all of these things that people want to do away with in this in this fear. Uh, okay. I, Mark, I see we're human going. interaction. It's important. It is very and, important. And also this whole thing about okay, well we're we're seeing infections rates go up, so we need to make masks mandatory. That's now a thing in Orange County. It is now mandatory if you're living, and that's literally in his mandate. The mayor of the county. If you are living in Orlando, you need to have a, a mask on. So it's not enforced, but by his royal crown, he is telling everybody that they have to wear a mask if you're in Orange County, no matter what. Um, if you're sick, how about you stay home? And how about we have the respect for our citizens that if you're sick, we trust that you can quarantine yourself. Trust you being an adult. There's none of that. Yeah, we're there's no expectation of that. We're so that's why I mean why why there's no social pressure to expect it of you. So why? Well, I mean why would it matter? Why would why would you want to do that? There there's no there's no leadership coming out and it's driving me insane. It's mm-hmm. just cowardice. Like someone told me that someone drug that mayor of Orange County out in the street and beat his ass. Like I'd probably give him a small golf clap. Like fuck that guy. That mm-hmm. wants to tell us, anybody, if you are passing through, if you work in the Orange County, if you live in Orange County, by his decree, you must wear a mask on your face. Fuck off. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. That's not within your ability. Yeah. And and and, and, and especially now. Mm-hmm. Like, we, you're talking about something with a death rate that is confirmed to be 0.005 to 0.003%. That the average death rate is higher than the average death rate of just dying of as just an American? <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
And now the fear has grown wild in everybody's minds. Well, and I feel like for a massive majority of everybody, it's gone away. But there are a few cowards out there mm-hmm. that are holding on to it like I it's agree. something special. And I don't understand it. But I have no tolerance for it anymore. I, I love the people that... Like, I'm not, I'm not endorsing political violence. That's never the answer. But also, you're a faggot. <laughs> the, so, what, what I hate is the people that look at you... Like, you are now the most disgusting per- thing in this world that you need to get away from me. Like, that's what it's starting to breed. Like, yeah. for instance, I was in a grocery, I was going grocery shopping uh, at a, a grocery store, obviously. And um, I got up to the line and. Could have been in a family. That six. Dollar tree. Who's tomorrow? That six foot line that they usually, oh, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. The, the circles that you're supposed to stand on. <laughs> you're supposed to stand. Well, they're, they're lines at this particular oh, okay. place. Uh, Publix. Um, so I was like, I was standing on that line. I was actually standing on the line, maybe a little bit forward of the line or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was just kind of waiting for the guy to check out and everything. I'm just sitting there. I have my basket full of groceries. Like the arches of your foot were on the line. <sighs> Bro, the guy turned around and he rose his hand up as if to say hi, right? Sure. He just looks at me. He has his mask on. He looks at me and just goes, uh, uh, like that, right? With his hand up in the air. <laughs> Please tell me you high fived him. <laughs> I go, I, I wish I would have done that. I thought about that later, but I, but I didn't. I go, right. I go, hey. What's going on? Like, you know, I, I you yeah. know, cause I, I talk to people, you know? Sure. And then he just like looks down at his feet. Right. And then yeah. he looks down at mine and he points at the fucking line. And I looked down at him and I looked at him and the cashier even looked at me like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I looked down at the line and I just scooted back that one inch and I was like, there you go, champ. Just like that. And then he just kept going on his way. Darian. It's like, fuck off, bro. Like, get the fuck out. Like, no. I like, five him. Give him all the time. I should have done it. I should have gave him a hug. Oh, thanks for saving my life. She's her anxiety is like through the roof. She like hates going out in public with me now because I'm so confrontational. Yeah, like we were, at, we went to a Seven Eleven because she had to go to the bathroom really bad, and they had a fucking like sign on the door: no mask, no service per Orange County law or some shit like that. And she had a mask on, and I didn't. And she went in to go use the bathroom, and she comes out, and she's like. Fuck, there's no lock on the door. I need someone to sneak. Oh, God damn it. You don't have a mask. I'm like, no, no, no. I start getting out of the vehicle, and she's freaking out. She's like, nope. No, we're going somewhere else. I'm like, no, it's fine. We'll be fine. I'm going to go in there. And she, like, just lost her goddamn mind. Because I'm not bashful. Like, if someone did that to me, I would take a step closer to him. What do we do with everything, every other Stop disease? Stop being so rebellious. Like, what happened with the flu? What, to, to prevent getting the flu, what do you do? I mean, what? What do you do? You get over it. Inf- yeah, you catch it or you get infected by I, some I sort of I purposely don't it. wash my hands after I take a piss now. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Unless I piss directly on my hands, I'm not washing them. <laughs> I'm not washing them. And I'm shaking Fuck everybody's em. hand if I can. Yep. Fuck I'm patting you. you on the back. You've I'm now touch- just touched I'm my dick. Touching your face. I touch things when I walk by. I just touch random services. From now on, we're just going to start doing that. Just, uh, uh, just you, start- you are the problem, sir. Yeah. You're spreading Fuck all of the You, you know what? If I'm COVID. sick, I'll stay home. But otherwise, you can suck my dick. Well, the, 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 the problem that I... Not not clean. When, when, when's the last time that we See, ever See, my quarantined? dick is clean. That's why I don't have to wash my hands. What? When's the last the time we had a quarantine like this? What do, do we do? We have never. One the, we haven't, right? We've never fucking done 19, this before. 1917. They did mandatory quarantines like this of healthy people. I don't think they've ever done this. The f- There's been pans like it's the, a knee the jerk Spanish reaction. flu. The Spanish flu came through, and it was like from the 1880s to like 1918 or whatever you're talking about. Like, yeah. and yeah, a bunch of people died. A fuckload of people died. Uh, yeah, you know yeah. what? Also, that people died of back tremendous. then. Chlamydia. Fucking, Un, unclean water, probably HIV. Just water, uh, but they just drinking water. World the... War One. Yep, but it's that's actually, the that's the yeah. point I'm trying to make though. Is like that's that's what we that's how we live. It's we're we're fucking human beings. The military's fault for bringing it back or something. Yeah, probably the Spanish flu. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, what did I say military is always a problem. Say your gavel. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Uh, my uh, what that, do you use in the Magic the Gathering? If what do you, you use I don't know, you tell me. Uh, like a like you're a the one staff. that played it. You fucking you nerd. shall not pass. <laughs> oh, sorry, hey, listeners. If you're if you're a casual listener to uh, Joe Rogan's podcast, I I am at this point. I used to listen to everything, and I just don't have time anymore. But I, I listened to the Brett Weinstein podcast that he just recently did, and I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, but he. There's a lot of really interesting things in there. He's an evolutionary biologist. He actually goes into how he seriously thinks that uh, the more he's looked into it, the likelihood it actually was developed in a lab is pretty high. 
but COVID? Yeah. Like in particular, like how it seems to spread near exclusively indoors and it is almost impossible for it to spread outdoors. Uh, and if it's a virus that is naturally occurring, that doesn't make sense at all, especially if it came from bats. I'm not a scientist, yes. but I definitely thought that this might have been some sort of weaponized version of yes. what has already been existing. It's most of them have the most people, that, because the people quarantining is the people that are getting sick. Yeah. Not the ones that They're are going out outside. rioting. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, there was... Didn't didn't Floyd have COVID, too? Yeah, he did. Uh, Official cause of death. Um, <laughs> yeah, but if you look Jesus at the hospital Christ. reports... If you look in the hospital reports, then get that that bonus money. Uh, yeah, the CDC can that, get that grant. It's because people are fucking greedy. Uh, greed, greed is such a fucking terror. Don't you think that it has something to do with people like in the in the top echelons, like the Fauci's, like that kind of overstated how dangerous Soros. this was, and so now they want to make an incentive to make it look a little bit worse than it is. To yeah, help. for that's the, the point. Yeah, to help to help them to yeah. like get some heat off of them. I kind of understand the the human flaw of of all of that. There you go. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. it's not that bad. Oh, well, it's already gone. I can't, I can't do anything <laughs> about it. It's already spreading. Just fucking keep it up. We're committed. You guys are going to take like it. Like the original person that made the phone call, like, hey, guy, this is, uh, this is a problem. We got we got a bunch of people sick over here. It's definitely, this is what we're going to call it. We're going to call it the COVID. <laughs> and then that's it. Or no, we're going to call it the coronavirus. All, all of a sudden, it's COVID. Well, it's one of those, like, uh, you're drinking your beer with your buddy and, like, mm, we're going to name it Corona. So I <laughs> think it's a COVID. I, I forget what it's, like. It's, it's a, a co- strain. It's a COVID virus that co- or it's coronavirus that causes COVID nineteen. That's how it breaks down. So like HIV causes it's, it's exactly corona, it's it's exactly like that. It's a COVID, virus that causes an illness. Corona virus uh, disease nineteen. That's what COVID stands for. Because it's the nineteenth strain of it or some shit like that. No, it came out in two thousand nineteen. Wow. I know there's a strain because coronavirus has been around for a while. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I agreed. It's just that they have claimed this strain as 19 because of the year it came out. I think it's weaponized. I it was could hoping T virus. So uh, if you listen to the Brett Weinstein, he doesn't think it's weaponized at all, which kind of makes sense. I don't, I don't think it was weaponized either. It, it, it seems to him, and it makes a lot of sense, that when you do research on a virus, you purposely – Make it easier to transmit from uh, subject to subject or tissue to tissue so that you can study it better. And that seems to be what got released. Like, so essentially, they were working on it legitimately as a lab, not necessarily as a weapon, but as this is standard procedure for when you're studying a new disease. And some new guy just was like, and, oh, what's this? And it got and out. Scratched his face, and then that's it. And he, now he's making the world sick. It's possible. So the whole mm-hmm. wet market thing. He's a bad. False. But, so he thought like that's what you're talking about, and what he he said he was like in the Amazon when all this was breaking, and he was like, "Well, it makes sense. I know about the wet market." And that, and then he started getting people questioning it, and then he starts looking into it, and he's like, "Well, the other weird thing about this is like, there's actually a lot of scientific uh, basis for questioning that this didn't come out of a lab, but it's become this weird political thing." That now you're some Trump conspiracy theorist if you think that it's possibility. That it just seems like a control factor. Like they can control people now. Like they. Well, can... yeah, but that's no, the, no. That's... I, everybody have a mask. Stay six feet apart. I want everybody separated. You know what? Never curfews. let a, tr- now a tragedy go to waste. Right. You know that's the that's the politician's motto. Like if they have an excuse to exert power, power they're going to. I mean that's just how it works. They don't need to cause anything. Yeah, COVID could be totally natural, but it, the outcome would be the exact same. Yeah. Politicians wouldn't act any different. So that doesn't, I don't know, that just doesn't compute with me. I don't find causality there. That's never a good excuse for me as to, as to why something's I feel like, happening. I feel like, I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I don't like it. I, don't, I hate it. I hate going out in public. And it's now, weird. now I am. All the cop hates all, like, it's so weird as fuck. I started talking with my high school friends again, and I love them to death. I really, I fucking, I love every single one of them passionately. Like, I will, I will do they, anything they must for listen, them. Or one of them must listen No, to they, this. I guarantee not a single one of them. <laughs> I was about to say not his friends. They're anymore. not, they're not of this mind. Um, and they don't, they're very liberal, I guess is the best way of putting it. And they have a very severe 
I mean, they're just kind of going onto the bandwagon, if you will, of hating cops. Oh, everybody. And uh, they posted some one-minute clip of some off-duty officer being an idiot somewhere in Missouri. And, you know, it was just another one. Look, look, just another, you know, wonderful officer, you know, protecting and serving real sarcastically. And they're, they're kind of climbing on it. And I, I was thinking about it more and more. And I didn't really articulate it as clearly as I wanna, would want to, it would have wanted to because I was working. But I, I put it easy enough. And I, it's something I've been working on in my head for a bit. I th- think that the pathology to that is no different of the thought process of a racist person. It's, I think it's literally the same. You're going to take an outlier and use it to justify your prejudiced beliefs. And even though there are thousands of examples every single day of how you're wrong, you're going to ignore all of those. And you're going to focus on the extremes to talk yourself into how right you are for hating this other group. I mean, that's very commonly what racists do. And when I, when I posed that to them, it was, I, I couldn't help but laugh out loud because the response was literally the same thing a racist would say, which is, again, not to say that this, that I'm totally right and that, that this is completely applicable to them, but their defense was, well, not all cops. Which well, is fucking hilarious because well, when, you ca- when you catch a no, racist person saying some racist shit, like if it's a white dude, well, it, not all black people, it's just those kind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. that's what sounds like to <laughs> I mean me. that's exactly the, and I it went right over their head and it was one of those things I, I'll probably respond to them a little bit later but like I don't expect to change their minds with a single statement but I just was I, I don't see how it's not applicable to where you you have a negative viewpoint and you want something to prove it right and although there are literally examples going on right down the road from you and all across the country you can find something to hate, and then that justifies your hate for everybody. It's very strange times. People suck. Defund the police. That'll go good. <laughs> yeah, uh, look how the, look the Georgia Atlanta. thing. Yeah. Oh my god! And the people complaining about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do they call it now? The blue. It's called the blue flu. Blue flu. The blue flu. A lot of people left their fucking post. It's been confirmed that a lot of people fuck that actually. They tried to deny it for a while. Yeah, but, uh, they didn't. Wasn't it you who posted, or you? No, you posted it where it was showing me the tweet of uh, Atlanta Police Department. They were like, "No, we, that's a yeah, lie. Yes, they're fucking. We, we have enough numbers. Yeah. We have, you know, we, we we're have just everything really covered. stretched out right now. Yeah, no, people were leaving, and and this was verified behind the scenes. Like one hundred percent, people were like, "Fuck that! You, you're gonna literally." You're literally going to put this, uh, charge this guy with fucking murder, and it's blatantly obvious. That... Have we even talked about that on this? I don't remember. I think we did the last episode. Dude, it's so, like, how has that guy not been taken out of office immediately? I guess, I mean, I guess that's the beauty of the process is that people can make mistakes like that, and we don't come to snap judgments, but that guy needs to go immediately. Like, and I think that there is already corruption charges against him, but... The DA charging this officer with uh, the DA has uh, corruption charges um, yeah. against him. Yeah, 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 for sure. He he's definitely uh, under investigation for using funds or something like that illegally. And uh, but imagine that greed claiming huh? Weird. a violent what what is it? Violent felony? What's the what's the term? I'm missing something of against the officer. Uh, essentially, that he was committing a violent act, uh, uh, a violent felony when he murdered him. What's the fucking term for that? manslaughter no 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 no. it's not that you just oh. murdered somebody that you were violently assaulting them and then you murdered them there's a, a specific charge for that uh and that's what he charged him with is that basically he was making the statement not only did he wrongfully shoot that guy which is crazy but okay he was saying that before he shot him he was violently assaulting him by trying to put him under arrest which is what he's supposed to do. It's his job. It's his, his fucking job. job. His fucking job. Uh, 
I, I and then and then I like how they burned down the Wendy's. Like Wendy's had anything oh, to fucking do with it. I love that it's because the Rayshard had a wife and he also had a side girlfriend. And apparently, it's the girlfriend that burned it down while the wife was, you know, at the CNN bullshit. So <laughs> that's they, a, I mean, that sounds about her, right. They found her on camera. That that sounds about right. Like the wife, the wife being like, you know, the the nice professional one, and then that side chick he's been messing mm-hmm. around was the one, the ratchet one, burning down that, the building. I thought that was funny. I think that's awesome. That because Wendy's had every thing to fucking do with it right bro that's stupid they call the cops how dare they oh yeah that is the problem how dare you call the cops the guy that's fucking completely passed endangering out. the fucking public but passed drunk out and driving. The fucking, yeah yeah imagine that yeah it, what it is is they don't understand that that guy can potentially kill that was people. the fucking other thing like i was listening to joe rogan and he was talking about how peaceful he was peaceful yeah the dude's driving drunk bro that's a, a, that, that that vehicle is he a weapon he just tried to he just tried to get away uh-huh yeah. they should have just let him go mm. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have turned around. See, that's they could the part. They could have called him an Uber. He shouldn't have took the fucking taser. He should have punched the cop in the face. He probably would have been better off because then the cop would just. No, he did. He, he did, did punch. punch him in the face. He shouldn't have. He did no, punch well, the cops in the face. Well, I'm I'm sorry. What I meant by that is, is that should that should have been where it stopped. Shouldn't have. Well, it should have got been, to that part. But should have should have just gone into handcuffs. But he was on probation. So. He didn't want to go back to prison. Well, his fucking fault. Whose fucking fault is well, that? Well, that's that's why he fought, though. Fuck him. Yeah. Yeah, it was his fucking fault the entire time. Now, that was justified. Now, listen. And the funny thing is, is that the DA also said that that was a deadly weapon. He that they they stated I it know, was a deadly three, weapon like three four days earlier. Like, they stated it was when, a deadly weapon when the cops were using it against civilians. But it was now, a deadly weapon, now and then the, vice versa. Exactly. It's that's fucking bullshit. Yeah. Um. So here's the thing. If I'm gonna play the devil's advocate and i can see this position and i don't even know that i necessarily disagree with it Mm. all right um i could see a united states to where we come in and we say in that scenario lethal force is not justified but you don't get to do it retroactively you don't get to fucking put the officer on trial when those are very very clearly stated as the laws. In that scenario, he has another officer with him. He's right behind him. Dude's got a taser. He's turning back and shooting a taser at him. Back the fuck off for a second. Maybe get the car. Consider it on the foot. There, there, there's all kinds of you know quarterbacking you can play here. Uh, I can understand of he has a taser and it's not a deadly weapon. And we have backup immediately on scene, so I don't necessarily need to worry about going unconscious and him just grabbing my gun and, and shooting me and shooting the other guy. Because he had the one other guy with him? Yep. Tasers can deploy twice. All right. Especially that one that he had in his hand. Sure. Can deploy twice. Right. Therefore, if he would have shot it, and not saying that he knew how to use it or not, but we don't know. Right. He shot him, shot second officer, shot the second round, hit both officers. Now he's got both of them, and all he has to do is hold on the trigger, and they're, they're incapacitated. It can happen. And or if they shot him in the face, it could have been a deadly weapon. See, law enforcement officers are, are trained with the taser to not shoot in the face and not shoot in their groin. The, right. The, you know, because the, because of the damage it can do. Yeah. So he could have been shot in the face and then potentially, you know, kill the officer. It's a deadly force option. Sure. But the main thing that everybody's worried about is that he hits the officer. Officer goes down. Now he has he has the, the weapon. Yes, there's a second oh. officer. Oh, uh-huh. fucking perfect. You That's watched, what I wanted to find. You watched the video. So right he now? fucking tased the fucking other officer. Did he? Yes. So he he, and then his buddy. Well, while they were on the ground, no, running away. See, I guess it's the donut one. You watch the donut one. I watched the video. I watched the raw footage. So he did hit him. He hit him. That's donut. Like donut doesn't fucking bring up that. Mm -mm. You see. So, the uh, turn back the phone and watch. Turn back the phone and watch. You can see from the raw footage exactly what's going on. They scuffled on the ground, and he got the the gun, the taser, and the other officer might have gotten tased for a moment, but he was still getting up. Other officer number two, we'll call it, that shot, follows him. He's chasing. Officer number one is trailing right behind him. And again, you don't fucking know that officer two knows officer one's right behind him. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a lot of quarterbacking here. I I understand that I am not, but yo, know, it wasn't really that long ago that police officers had the 
mandate that they had to wait till they were getting shot at before they could shoot someone. Oh, yeah, he's hit. I mean, maybe. I don't know. And I'm not saying that that's what it needs to go back to, but I like am. Maybe one, one of the probes got him. Good. But I am saying it's not impossible for me to see uh, a ruling or, or a law change saying, like, all right, law enforcement, going forward, if someone's using something that is a non-lethal tool for you, you don't get to use lethal force in reaction to it. You have to change like you have to change the whole fucking. Uh, yes, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not not this case retroactively moving forward. This is the America we want to live in. I'm sorry. I know this is kind of forcing you a little extra risk on law enforcement, but this is what I think is this is what America thinks is yeah. the, the not like the there's standard. not enough like there's not enough risk already. You know. Well, okay, but at the same time, you're talking about from the perspective now. They've taken 18,000 fucking steps towards being more lethal compared to 20 years ago. Now, I understand that it's been in reaction to officers dying, that that's real. The The reason officers are more quick to deadly force is because of dead officers. That, but, that, but, but violence, you know, they, they tend to have a, it's like a roller coaster. You know, violence sometimes will be higher in, in a period of time. But do you not versus... understand from an outsider's perspective that, you have that taser on you as a cop to n- have a non-lethal option, and then when someone is using it on you, your reaction is you need to use a lethal. Do you not understand how people? I understand could have a how people with that? could. Yeah, I can understand people looking at that and having a problem with it because yeah. they don't want to understand of how bad it could be. Mm, I don't think that that's fair. How I is don't... that not fair? So why is it okay, okay for you to let's let for go. for a civilian that's wrongfully getting arrested? Let's, let's let them go. No, there's an in-between. You don't have to just not let him go and not shoot him. Or, oh, yeah, or yeah, let him go and no, not no, shoot him. Don't like, shoot him. Don't Just let him go. Yeah, but what, why? What it, why do you have to take it to there? No, no, you no, can't but, just not shoot him and arrest him? He couldn't arrest him. That that guy fought off two of those guys. It's obvious that the guy was overpowering them. So he got not, in a scuffle. let him go. So let him go, right? No. Don't let him go. So how would I get him? The way they were doing it before, of struggling with him. Doing cop shit. He was already running away with Taser, shooting at them, and then and he was obviously getting away at that moment. So what 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 would be the option after that? Or let's say we decide to go ahead and and not hit him up for the DUI. Let's just say, okay, you know, fine. So put it to you this way: Th- there's a reason why I'm asking this. You're a citizen getting wrongfully arrested, and officer is using Taser on you. So justifiably. You have to go to deadly force and kill that officer. Do you not get, like, how fucking ridiculous that is? No. That's not ridiculous to you. It that is, a civilian would kill an officer because he used a taser on him? It, well, no. It, it sounds, That's fucking it, ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous because the taser is not developed to it, – it was not designed to kill. Correct. It was designed to That is what the broader society has a frustration with when it comes to law enforcement. I think you see it as – that, it, that I that see it you, as that they the think officers it's officers okay. are kind of are taking on more risk by changing it. But I see it as if changes like that aren't made, things are going to get worse, not well, better. Well, I mean, they, it, they, there was a change. I mean, they used to use a taser just because you weren't listening to them. That change has been used for you have to have case law. Objective, objective yes. reasonable. Case law is a big reason why a lot of these changes have happened. Sure. Gotcha. So what do you think of Tennessee and Garner? Just for that very particular thing. Um, remind me, remind all of us, because uh, I'm sure I'm not alone in the so, listeners. I know uh, that's case, but I can't fucking. Officer has probable cause to believe the suspect poses a significant threat of death or serious physical injury to officers or others. Right. Is pretty much for deadly force. Sure. So at and that then, time, Graham, and do then, you think he did not have, there was no probable cause to shoot him? Prior? I would think based on, based on that ruling, I don't know that that's really fair now. Okay, then you got Graham versus Connor, another case law, objective reasonableness, which basically means in in split second decisions, everybody understands that a a law enforcement a law enforcement officer needs to make a split second decision, and at that moment he felt like his life was in danger and the general public was in danger. Therefore, he used he used uh, deadly force. Deadly force. Yeah, that those are two case laws right there, based off of the entire. Do you not understand? That's what people have a problem with. Like you're you're pointing to people that are not elected that have shaped how law enforcement works, mm. that has caused immense ima- animosity towards law enforcement. And you're going to it as, well, this is justification as how things are now, which is totally fine. I'm I'm on board. Like, you can't fucking retroactively change this shit. 
But moving forward, you can write laws saying, no, that case law is is not exactly how we want this to go. This is not how we want policing to be. And find somewhere that makes sense. Because absolutely, if if an officer feels like he's, his life is in danger and he draws his weapon and, and shoots someone in a very reasonable way and it mm-hmm. turns out it was a suicide by cop situation, mm-hmm. it's absurd to think that the cop should fucking face charges for that. Absolutely absurd. There's nothing that should even really happen to him. So then give me the solution. Well, what ha- what happened in that situation that you would have changed? Don't shoot the guy, right? That's I mean, that's no. In that situation, I wouldn't have changed anything because of what the policies are, because of what the case law is, and because of what his training is. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't change anything. It's a totally justified shoot. Would I change something in the future that says if you know that he has your less than lethal weapon? And he's attempting to flee, and he attempts to use your less than lethal weapon on you. And if you feel like you are on the verge of getting incapacitated, and you want to do something about it, maybe there's a little bit of gray room. But having carte blanche to just fucking open fire is is like if you make the wrong call, then you're gonna fucking pay for it. Well, stop the threat. He only fired what three shots. He fired three shots and administered aid like a champ. Boom. I mean, he fucking it's really like tried. He, to, he tried to keep that. He was like, "Hey, is that stay unreasonable? with me." Is that, is, that, with- is that unreasonable though? Like, the, like he stopped the threat, down the threat, and administered first aid. There was no negligence in that part. So the, his his job is to stop the threat. Right. I think if he would have been unloading the mag on the guy, maybe okay, yes. But the guy shot three shots, three rounds, and, and done, and did his best to keep that guy alive. Done. The, the, and the cop to- did nothing fucking wrong. I'm yeah. not making that argument. I, all I'm trying to say is that there probably could be some concessions to come back to get law enforcement to have a little bit less room to go to deadly force a little bit faster than they are uh, to appease the civil unrest that, that it is causing. Because although none of these people were upstanding citizens that just happened to have fucking horrible things happen to them, like uh, what's your boy that that you you've been posting about uh, the uh, ex officer from Tatum? Tatum, yeah, you know, did a video about how every single one of these like popular, you know, sh- deaths, every single one of them would have gone to prison. Every like one of them would have gone to prison. Yeah, they were they're all committing some kind of egregious felony at the time that would result in, in serious jail time or or prison. Mm-hmm. Um. And there's a lot of fucking truth to that. I'm not trying to deny that at all. This is not like some upstanding citizens that this is happening to. But was at- that was that case on Floyd? Uh, him robbing that lady. I think she's a pregnant lady too. Yep, that was real, right? Yeah, <laughs> it was him and like three or four or four or five other guys. Yeah, very real. He's a martyr. I know, but that doesn't. I, I didn't. I don't think it justifies death. I, I don't. Don't get me wrong, but. We also, I mean, come on, man. Like, you, you don't make, I don't know. He, he, he's, 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 that right there, him holding gunpoint, all that. Yeah, that's, that's fucking bullshit, you know, that, that we're going to create, you know, this guy is the saint. So if I can, if I can throw, I guess, my mindset, and you, I'm open to being wrong. I'm sure I am. But we throw this Wendy's scenario out there, right? Same thing happens, mm-hmm. except it's not a taser, it's a knife. Totally justified in my mind. Knife versus taser? No, no, no. Uh, of going to gun. Of going to gun if you had yeah. a knife versus yeah. a taser. Yeah. I think the only part is, is that, is that it, it, no matter who gets hit, there's no stopping. It's a five-second ride. Yeah. Like like that, that he's, for five seconds, that he is not going to do anything. Yeah. That's plenty of time to do whatever you want. Stomp his face in, kick him in the head, you know, freaking take not his alone. Gun. He's not alone on the scene. <sighs> But the with the taser though, so when cops are trained for tasers, tasers suck. By the way, yes, the, it's the go below the belt, go to the back, sure, never from the front, never from the face, right. So him fucking turning around to but shooting that off is, looks is, like it's going towards his chest. Sure, it's terrible, which terrible can aim. stop his heart, goes yeah. towards his face, that hurts his fucking eyes, right, hurt his face. He gets both connects, then sure, he's fucked up. A big reason, though, that I think you're glossing over why you don't go for the face is not because you can damage their eyes, which is true, but also it's because tasers fucking suck, and you need the most amount of area to connect two fucking things. Muscle. Muscle. Area, muscle, right? yeah. Muscle is so, what we want. So if you get them in the face, the likelihood you're going to have two prongs actually hit them in the face is fucking super minuscule. 
You're shooting at torso and well, fucking fails to connect so constantly. The seven that is what he had. It'll have like a greater pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, if you and watch the video, it shows the spread pattern that it has. It looked like one went at his face as the other one went up above right, it. Right. Right. Because he was reaching over his shoulder and shooting backwards. Yeah. So if and somebody's shooting hard. this part of me with a fucking taser, yes, I will shoot them. Yeah. Yes. Because that could kill me. That's, sure. That is. So a, that we're is gonna a, play. We're gonna play the game like whose life matters more right now. I, I, I get no, it. No, 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 I no, understand no, I get the it. policies and I understand that shit. Yeah. That becomes a deadly weapon for just okay. that part of things. So the untrained person what, with a gun. Would the solution then trained. be never have tasers? Then probably. It, that Problem be, fucking solved. No, and if if a taser a is very easily a deadly weapon, then a taser. Needs to not be in the equation because the whole point of it is that it's not a deadly weapon. Well, tasers were also developed for two reasons. One, for compliance. Two, so that way people would stop going for the gun first. So tasers were there as another option in between. Yeah, we had, I mean, this is, somebody thought this a long time ago is why they wanted a taser. So cops started shooting I thought people. they went to tasers so we'd stop beating the fuck out of people with lead, lead knuckled gloves and, well, and batons and shit. They, that, but it solved problems. That was, it did solve problems. The, the lead gloves and that's that's older than the I know, taser. That's like nineteen thirties. Yeah, the taser the taser was developed so cops would stop going towards the gun and then compliance. But the problem was that there was no rules and regulations when it was developed, so they would just hit you if you didn't listen. Right, but like cops in the eighties and nineties, it was like there wasn't the case law. Like, what, where was the the case law you were just talking Tennessee about? Tennessee versus Gardner yeah. or seventies or so. Tennessee versus Gardner was 70s. Yeah, and then Graham versus Connor was a little bit after that. Uh, yeah, 74. Yeah. Yeah. So set, is, most of the most, shit is 70s and 80s. 70s and most and 80s. most of the department, bullshit. you know, like it was not okay to just go to a firearm quickly. Like it. Well, that, Oh, for lethal prior. force. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's From why like, these that seventies and eighties. That's why things. That, that's why a lot of things got changed because that was what it was. Like I got a gun on my hip. I am the law. Listen to me. Here's my gun. Right. So there, there has been so much this change over the years, and and culturally, you know, culturally, there's a fuckload of changes. There's there's a lack of respect that used to be there. Mm-hmm. So I understand, like if if your culture entirely changes, laws are going to change too. It's it's. It's going to react to that. I, I get it. But it also sucks because now it's like, dude, people are like as, as, as law enforcement officers, I'm not going to say everybody, but I'm sure that there's going to be a, a good amount of people that are LEOs right now that look at this like, holy fuck, man, well, I'm yeah, going to get fucked. How like, do you get good people? Well, now, now you're going to have people that are scared to do anything because they don't want to get fucking Fired. lynched in the fucking yeah. in, in, in Because you don't have to do anything wrong. You have to, you could follow policy to the fucking letter and you could be fired immediately well, Without any kind of fucking recourse, yep, and and possible charges put against you, mm-hmm. and how is that a good recruitment method for anybody moving forward that wants to be a cop? You, know, you are going to get worse options social out workers. there. Social workers, uh, security, security, security. Well, they're going to take the guys that would be security, and they're going to have to make them officers because they're not going to have and, the quality of people. Yep, that they. I was listening to this fucking idiot talk about, you know, he's a lawyer and he had to go to school for for nine years to practice law, but someone only has to go to school for six months to enforce it. It's longer than that, but okay. And uh, I just, I was like, first of all, almost impossible for you to get a law enforcement job by not having a four-year degree. And if you don't have a four-year degree, you have to have some kind of military. To not have military or a four-year degree and become a cop is fucking unheard of. Mm-hmm. Like it's it, That's not really industry standard. So you take those four years, you want them to go to school for another four or five years? You want, you want someone to, to make cop money but go to school for nine years? Is that going to make you happy, lawyer? Mm-hmm. Like. Some and, of the shit people come up and with. And you got so one that stupid. you have you have one that makes the law, one that interprets the law, and one that enforces it. The law enforcement officer just follows the guidelines and then gets them to go put them in jail so that way you guys can go ahead and fight over in court. Right. On you the figure bottom it out. you figure this shit out. Right. That's what you get paid for. Right. You get paid a hell of a lot more than what they get paid for for having to do the violent part of the job. Yeah. You know? You know, another thing you know, that I harp on that would solve this is get rid of the drug war. We should definitely get rid of the drug war. Yeah, we should just That'd solve a lot of the fucking problems. Anyways, you wouldn't have to get in people's businesses often. Drug wars. It. That's it. We're done. Take it. It's done. We're done.
We're done. Yep, we're done. We're ending. Are we this. done? Like right last, fucking this now. Last episode. <laughs> right fucking now. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for uh, sticking with us for another episode as we talk about the world and the craziness about it. Fucking 2020, man. It's so crazy, isn't it? There's still more. We're not done, bro. We I didn't even talk about the cops coming to my house three in the morning last night. We don't have time for that. Yeah, we don't, oh, we don't have time for no that. <laughs> fucking answering the door with a rifle. Sheriff's See you guys office. later. Oh, okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Love you. <laughs> See ya.